Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of my Sims 2 Pleasant View Let's Play. But today we're in Blue Water Village and we'll be playing the Ramirez family. Um, we're just gonna keep running the business. Uh, Tessa will have her birthday and uh, Lisa will probably be working on her uh, promotions for her work, for her job. So uh, let's just get into it. Alright, here we are with the Ramirez family. Um, it is Sunday, so everyone's home today. Let's see. We have Tessa here. She's gonna be a teenager today. It's her birthday today. Um, she wants to be the master of Leroy, um, which means she'll have to just keep. Um, she'll just have to keep her relationship up with him. Um, and Lisa and Chico are relaxing in bed. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna unlock this uh, public woohoo with three different Sims, um, cause. It's it was because they woohooed in public once before and it's just not it was just, it, I don't know it's just a weird a weird uh want I need to get Leroy a collar Did I get him a collar? I don't think so. Um and I think I'm just going to buy a collar here if we don't have one but I'll do um shop online buy a collar. I'll do that real quick. Okay, we do have some collars. I just didn't put them on him. So we're gonna change your pet of Leroy's appearance. Wait, what's happening? Lisa's pregnant! Oh, Lisa got her baby bump! Oh, we're gonna have a baby! Oh my gosh, we're gonna have a baby this round! That's. I don't remember her being pregnant. <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. We got a little red collar on him. And Lisa, you are exhausted. Go to bed, please. <laughs> we're gonna have a baby on the way. Oh. Alright, it is nearly 1 p.m., so we're gonna have to invite people over for a birthday party for Tessa. Um so we're gonna have Lisa just sleep in, and uh, Chico's gonna have to throw the party, I think. Uh, I don't know, he knows quite a bit of people, because he just likes to walk around and meet people all the time. But I don't think he knows any of the kids. Let's invite Jennifer, let's invite his friends, Don, Angela. Um, do you know any other people? No. Nina Caliente? Florence? Darren? Dustin, I guess. Do you know anybody else? You don't know any of the kids. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teleport the kids over. I think that's fair enough. She can meet people. Melody can come, actually. Yeah, that's that's good enough. And I'm going to, uh, like I said, teleport some of the kids over. Any of the kids that she knows. So let's see what she knows. She knows Bo. Um, she knows just Bo. That's, uh, pretty sad. <laughs> well, Bo can come then. And maybe I might teleport one of the other kids over. Um, so where is the sibling? Here it is. She wants to be friends with him, too, so that that works. Alright, so who came? Melody came. Florence came. Nina and Don came. They're just flirting hearts and kissing their hands. Angela came, looks like. Yeah, good amount of people came. Um, Florence, stop. What the heck is going on? There's a love triangle happening outside. Hello? <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, knock it off. This isn't the fall in love party. Florence, what are you doing? Oh my goodness. Go chat with Bo because you want to be friends with him. Did you get to be the master of Leroy? Oh, she did. That's awesome! Oh my goodness, Don and Nina just outside. Oh my god, you guys. Jeez, everything is just broken in this house. Alright, keep talking to Bo. You have like an hour. Now everyone's infatuated with the TV and the, and the video games and John, Don is jumping rope over here. Okay, Don. Alright, it's five. 13, so we're gonna blow out the candles now. So everyone come on over and come see Tessa age up. 
Yeah, good job, Tessa. All right, here we go. Okay, so we got to do some randoming in here because uh, for Tessa, I think I'm just going to random whatever because I don't... I'm just going to let her do whatever the heck she wants. All right, so for her aspiration, she got a four. So she's going to be a knowledge sim because um, I start from the top left here, like one, two, three, and then four, five, six, all the way around. Um, so she gets knowledge um, like her mother. And then for one of the turn-ons, I'm going to give her a hair color. I like to have one of my turn-ons being a hair color specifically. So I'm going to roll to see which one I get rid of. And then I'll roll for whatever hair, which would be one out of three, considering she doesn't like black hair. So I'm going to let her keep that. But out of one out of three, she'll like any of the, you know, like blonde, red, or brown hair. All right, so we're getting rid of travel. And she likes brown hair. So brown hair, logical, and not black hair men. <laughs> And let's age up. Oh, she doesn't have any friends with these people, but I was going to age up Kimberly because... But she doesn't know them at all, so we're just going to do that. All right, everyone, come get some cake. Lisa, you should not have this low of a hunger bar. She might die now from childbirth. Um, And Tessa has a very, very pink outfit. <laughs> Oh, she does not like Bo. She thinks he's ugly. She's just going to bed now. Lisa, go get some cake, please. More cake. Alright, the birthday party rocked. Great job. The final score was a good time. So we'll still have to call up uh, Bo and be friends with him. But, Chico, I need you to do some work and fix some stuff around here. Because there's just broken stuff everywhere. I will have to get new pants for Tessa, though, because uh, her shirt is clipping through her skirt again, so. Just that shirt is very long. I don't know if I should get rid of the default replacement. It's a default replacement for a specific shirt, but I don't I don't know if I want to get rid of it or not. I kind of like the solid color shirts. They work well with the, like, pants, but not with sh the skirts, I guess. Which we'll have to, uh... I think I might have some other skirts that we can use. I did uh, some shopping, some CC shopping. And hopefully I can find a different skirt for her instead. All right, Lisa wants to learn how to make omelets. All right, you can make yourself an omelet for breakfast then. Chico wants Tessa to get a scholarship and I think Lisa also wants her to get one. So we're gonna lock those in because uh, she's a knowledge sim. I have a feeling she's gonna want to go to college. I was gonna give her popularity, but I feel like we have a lot of popularity sims right now, like Bo and uh, Carol, and uh, they have Angela and Lilith. They wanted to give her something different, and uh, so she inherited the knowledge with her mom, which isn't bad because she does have a significant amount of skills. She liked to skill build when she was a kid, and she is in private school because her uh, family wanted her to be in private school. Lisa, you're not supposed to start a fire. Well, I guess you can't, uh... You can't make omelets. <laughs> I'm just gonna burn them. Okay, Chico. That's inappropriate. <laughs> so just sponge bath. Right in the middle of it all. Tessa didn't even care. She's just on here on the piano. And now she's gonna have to go to, to school. Chico, you broke the sink now. Well, Lisa just got her second baby bump. Oh, Ventani. oh my goodness. So, uh, tomorrow, Tuesday, we're going to be having a baby at noon. I'm so excited. They have some pretty questionable looking kids, though. <laughs> mm. Alright, I'm going to have Tessa go down to the clothing store to get herself some new clothes, or new pants, at least. So, uh, it's not so bad for her. Alright, I brought her down to uh, Blue Water Village's Amelia's Closet. 
Um, and we're gonna go buy an everyday outfit. Just some pants. This mice is pretty cute. Alright, so, um, all the skirts clip through that shirt, and just- the shirt is just too long for any shirt- skirts. I just gave her some pink shorts instead, um, that looks better that way anyway, so, it'll work. Alright, now we're just gonna go home. Chico's just being a creep back here, he's- he's peeking on Kaylin Langerak over here through the- <laughs> through the telescope, even though it's not pointing anywhere near their house. Their house is over here, up the hill. Um, oh no, it's over here. <laughs> anyway, it's not even pointing at their house, but... Whatever, Chico. Their house isn't this way, man, it's that way. <laughs> but he's fine, he's fine on Kaylin over there. Alright, and Tessa just got home. Um, and she's just infatuated with the, uh, piano, so she's just gonna go play that, I guess. And those two are gonna go relax upstairs, alright. And Leroy needs a bath. This poor dog is stanky. So I'll have to give him a bath. Alright, Lisa's up early today, so she wants to have omelets again. She wants to learn how to make omelets. So we're gonna try this again, Lisa, but this time you're not gonna start a fire, right? <laughs> um, hopefully she can get the swan out of the way. But it's really, uh, she just has to be careful. Just please be careful. Jeez, the omelets in The Sims 2 look really good. It looks like... <laughs> it looks like bacon and uh, green peppers in there. Oh, she served omelets for everyone. Oh, that was nice of you. But she finally didn't burn them, so... But uh, yeah, these omelets look really good. I personally like bacon and cheese. Um, and maybe some mushrooms in mine. Um, I like... Sometimes I'll put peppers and onions in them. Those are nice to have, too. It just depends on what I'm feeling. <laughs> but I'm fairly simple when it comes to omelets. <laughs> Lisa has a day off today. Tessa will have to go to school. Why don't you get up, Tessa? I know you're gonna want to do your homework, so you might as well do it now. Hurry up, Tessa. The bus is already here. You gotta speed through your homework. Quick. Oh, no, it's snowing. Ah, oh, winter. Oh, my goodness. We're. I just realized we're about to have a baby in, like... Two hours here. I have to, uh... I have to save and roll the pacifier so we don't have a baby that looks like Tessa. Alright, we just got done rolling the pacifier. I'm having Don go get the mail real quick. He's gonna go pay the bills. Um... Alright. We're gonna be having a baby soon and hopefully... Fingers crossed, Lisa doesn't die from childbirth. We don't want that happening. That'd be pretty depressing. Um, but it can happen. Her needs are pretty low. Um, and it might- might- She might fall over. <laughs> I hope not, though, because there's nothing more depressing than losing someone. Like that. Alright, I had Lisa taking a nap and her energy was just not going up. But she's, uh, she's getting up because now that here comes the baby. Come on, Chico. Here we go. It's one baby. Okay, and it doesn't matter, they both have the last name. Oh my god, the stairs are in the way! No, I can't see! Oh my god! It has black hair and brown eyes. Oh, And it's another baby girl! Yay! Are we are in the letter H, so I'll have to go find an H name for the baby. Alright, and the name I'm choosing is Harmony. So Harmony Ramirez. And Lisa lived. She didn't die from childbirth, so we're good. Oh my goodness, little Harmony. Aww. Harmony Ramirez. That's so cute. Oh, she's so precious. She looks like Chico. She literally is identical to Chico. She's got black hair, brown eyes, and his skin tone too. Just like Chico. 
All right, let's get the baby some stuff. This will have to be her room, the little office. So we'll have to move the office stuff. All right, here is little Harmony's room. I did a little bit of a uh, decorating color-wise. I changed it. Um, we got a little cute little rain wall, wall light over here and a lamp. Because uh, this family doesn't believe in uh, chandeliers, I guess. Except for downstairs, they have one. <laughs> or two. Um, but Tessa just came home and she brought home Carol Oldie. <laughs> Carol, you're horrible at the piano. Please stop. <laughs> Alright, so let's give a bottle to little Harmony so she's not on the floor. <laughs> and we'll put her in her crib upstairs. Alright, Chico, you gotta rest up. Because I gave you two days off from the furniture store. You gotta go in and do some work. <laughs> so, you sleep it, you sleep up. You're gonna be going there bright and early. <laughs> oh, I said Lisa works in the medical career. She looks in the journalism career. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. I I was talking I was thinking about my uh my playthrough my solo playthrough because <laughs> in my solo playthrough she had a job in the uh, medical career. Ch All right, I got Chico ready for the day. I had him take care of the baby this morning. He got up early just to help Lisa out a little, and now he's heading down to Ramirez's fine furniture. <laughs> All right, here we are at the furniture store. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and open the business, please, Chico. Don't get on the computer. You don't need to be on there. Uh, he wants to get a customer, gain a star. Um, oh, I didn't restock anything. That's awkward. Um, normally I should be restocking stuff before I leave. I guess we'll do it now. We'll do a little bit. Alright, you need to come help people. May I help you? Lauren Johnson needs some help. Don's here. He's best friends forever with Don's. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Make a sale to Lauren and hire Don as a employee. That's not happening. He works in the medical career. Alright, let's just keep restocking some stuff. Oh my gosh. Look at her evil looking face. Kathy, Katie McGraw. <laughs> Look at her. Her eyes. Looking at her all angry like. That's terrifying. Bye, have a great time. Watch your pot. Matthew Smith just took some stuff and left. Did I just get paid for that? What the heck just happened? He just decided to leave. I think I got reimbursed for whatever the heck he took. What was this? Yeah, he, he took one of the tables and was going to buy it and then he just left. I got reimbursed for it. What the heck? Matthew Smith always has something wrong happening here. This is not... I don't know. <laughs> Don, wait. Are you checking him out? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, I'm checking him out from way over here. Guys, there's a space between it. Don, can you step up to the counter, please? Can you can you walk like three feet forward? Okay, yeah, I totally okay. Okay, maybe I can get Andrea to buy this couch. She wants she's looking at it. It's, and it's very expensive, and I think this would be a good sale if I can push it on her. We're almost there. Come on. Just one more push. Nope. No! She put it away right at that moment! Ah! Uh, uh, no! <laughs> I wanted her to buy that. Ivy Cooper, you want that, right? Never mind, her bar just went away too. No. Oh, I'm so sad. I really wanted her to buy that couch. We finally figured out what some of those cash registers keys do. Earned a cheek and has earned Chico a bronze cash register talent badge. Oh, good. He's not terrible at it anymore. All right, let's go to the bathroom. And uh, we're going to restock everything again. Oh, and he got the restocking badge, so now he's faster at doing that. That's nice. And uh, we've earned like no money. That's awesome. Cause uh, we left we left everything as it was. Yeah, we're gonna leave Chico. Don't worry. We're gonna go home. Ugh, I cannot believe it. We left the the place like that. We have less money now. Oh, now I gotta work even harder.
And I think next time we're gonna set some of the prices to uh, not cheap so we can get earn some money from those. Um, I'm just gonna put them at like normal maybe. I know that stuff is cheap though so it makes sense but like I'm gonna adjust some of the prices on everything. Today is actually Little Harmony's birthday so she will be growing into a toddler. I'm so excited to see her grow into a toddler. I think she's gonna be the cutest. Um, well, we'll see. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Alright, Tessa just came upstairs. She's what gonna be aging her up. Here she goes. Oh my gosh. Let me see her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she's, uh, she's looking a bit interesting. Oh my goodness. These people have the weirdest looking children. <laughs> Her eyes! Oh my god, her eye sockets! Oh my goodness, she looks like she's... Oh my gosh. She looks like she's old. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so mean for me to say, though. She does have a cute uh, dress on, at least. <laughs> but uh, she looks a bit uh, questionable. <laughs> Hopefully she'll grow out of it when she gets to the, into the adult stages. <laughs> Oh, and Chico just got home. Alright, Chico, you are starving. Why don't you go eat, please? She's cute in her own way, though. Alright, Lisa's going off to work today. Tessa will have to go off to school. And I'm going to have Chico go to the, uh, the furniture store again. Um, just because we didn't really get to see it much because I let him stay home until the baby was born. Um, but now he needs to go earn some money. And uh, the nanny, Kendall Lawson, will take care of uh, Harmony over here. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright, here we are back at the store. So I'm just gonna open it right away. Oh, I lost someone. That sucks. I wasn't paying attention over here. That's okay. I was uh, busy helping Shannon Zhang over there. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, now let's help her out before she leaves. And she's leaving. Alright. I think I'm gonna need to hire a new employee so someone can watch the register because uh, that's not fair. Alright, so we gotta be a bit quicker with the mm -hmm. register, it seems like. Otherwise we're gonna lose people. Hire employees for this lot. Alright, here we go. We On the computer. Let's hire an employee. We need an employee. The only kid that's available is this, this kid, Gordon Alby, but he's a teen. You wouldn't be able to show up early in the morning, so this is not gonna work. All right, let's let's get selling selling some more people. Wait, wait, wait. Go ring them up fast before Amen Sims gets mad. All right, let's basic sell this guy. All right, never mind. He just is a jerk and doesn't want to buy any of my stuff. Are we networking over here? Yeah. Discount. Home furnishing warehouse. Yay, we're getting low cost on furniture. Alright, we made quite a bit of money today. That's not too bad. So we'll have to do some restocking real quick. And uh, Chico's probably going to die from all this. But we're going to do it real fast, Chico. You're getting good at it. Alright, so we made $1,000 today. We're just about. And I'm just going to get rid of these tables. I'm just going to sell them. Alright, I changed them to these types of tables. And then I changed this to... Um, a, a outdoor sort of set. Um, you can't kind of see it because of the snow. And then um, I think I'm going to change this section too because this is what's outside. Except maybe the chairs can stay. No, this stuff can stay because uh, I have all these ones outside. These are different colors and all these. So that's that'll be fine. Um, but I think that's fine. Yeah, I think we're good. Alright, Chico, you are dying. So let's go home, please. Alright, so after buying everything again, we made, like, zero money, but I think we'll start making money now, um, with all of that. And Lisa will not be getting a promotion because she does not want to get any Christmas skill points. She keeps wanting to get cleaning, cooking, and mechanical, so none of them are gain a skill point or get charisma skill points, so no promotion for her, but she can bring in a couple hundred bucks. 385 is not really good, though. But I think Chico should be doing better next round. He should be doing way better. And uh, we need to hire someone because uh, we have issues with just people running off 
before Chico can get to the register. So we need someone to just watch the register. Or I can possibly just take um, Lisa with me. We can just go in the night. Or Tessa can come with us at 1. Like at 1 p.m. we can open the store and just be open at night instead. We can change our hours. And Tessa can help out with the store. We can drag Tessa into all of that. That might be easier just to have another playable sim. Or Lisa could even quit her job and just help uh, Chico out with it. Because um, technically they should be uh, running it together. But... Um, she's kind of just, she's kind of just in her own personal, like, she's taking her own personal life, like, path that she wanted to do. So I don't want to force her into it. I mean, unless, it, you know, unless she's unhappy with everything. But she seems pretty happy with what she's doing. Gotta take care of Harmony, and then we gotta put her to bed. Lisa's tired, she's gotta go to bed. Um, Chico is not gonna be home until 1 in the morning. Oh my goodness, this guy. But, I think we can do it. I think we're gonna sustain everything. Is the dog rolling in puddles? Please don't roll in puddles. I just cleaned you and washed you. Gave you a bath. No, he's doing it. Alright. Get up, please. Scold for rolling in filthy puddles. This is why you're dirty. And, uh, it's spring now. But I will wait until in the morning, because technically they, uh, shouldn't be saving at night and leaving. So I'll be waiting until morning, as always. Oh. Harmony's, uh, hobby is science. Alright, and it is now morning, so now this is the end of the round for the Ramirez family. So, in this episode, we had Tessa's birthday, and little Harmony Ramirez was born. Um, here she is. She's, uh, looking a little interesting, but uh, hopefully she can grow out of her uh, baby face, because that's, uh, in in too interesting for me. <laughs> um, Chico is maintaining his badges pretty well. He earned a couple different badges this episode. Um, he will be continuing to earn more badges. He will be continuing to run the store. He's doing pretty well so far. Um, not too bad. Um, Lisa is still in the level 4 fact checker career, unfortunately. Um, she has no one to get any charisma skill points, so she's not getting a promotion. Um, but until then, uh, she most likely will in the future once she stops wanting to gain cooking skill points. <laughs> In the next episode, we'll be playing Florence Della Rosa. Um, she is running her floral shop, and hopefully she can continue to do that. She's doing, I think, the best out of all my sims so far with her, her business, um, at home business. Um, so hopefully she can keep that going for her. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.